So, hey, family, it's me, Jazz, just popping on here for a minute. Whew. Drinking my little hot chocolate with my little marshmallows. Look at there. Don't that look good? The weather is changing. It's starting to feel like fall. Ooh, we need something to warm our bodies. You know? Since I don't have that warm body in my bed, I better do the next best thing. Ooh, drink me some chocolate, huh? Well, let's give it a try. My marshmallows is melting. Look at there. Ooh. Ooh, I like hot chocolate with marshmallows. You like that too? Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. Just popping on, have a little chit chat. I've been coming across stuff on these YouTube streets about uh, B Love and Peach Macintosh. McIntyre. We're just going to call her Peach. But, um, yeah. Mm. So, I guess apparently B Love said from Millionaire to Broke. And, but I looked up the definition of a millionaire. And the definition of a millionaire says, what is it? What your access, what, what you own minus what you owe. So if you own stuff that go to a million dollars, but you owe stuff that takes away from that, that don't necessarily make you a millionaire. Something like that. You can Google it, but it is something what you owe what you own minus what you owe, you know? So, huh, that's something, huh? You know what? All of us YouTube sisters, we should be able to get along, you know? You know, both of those women, we can learn something from both of them. Be loved, she got her businesses and homes and whatever. And Peach, she has her courses where, you know, you can learn, you know, stuff from her to help grow your channel. To help you make money and she showed where she had help be love make some money she showed the receipts but um i don't know why we just can't get along why us as a race always tearing down each other and then the other people just sit back and look laugh and talk about it you know mm, mm, mm. What you guys think about that? What you think about the whole, I don't know if it's beef between them. I don't know what it is. I don't know. You know, I'm just hearing the YouTube streets, people saying different stuff. But I'm not, I, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts, what you think. Which one do you think um, is, let me see. I don't know, because Peach says she made a million dollars. B-Love made a million plus some, because I guess B-Love has the house, the cars, the businesses. I'm just learning about Peach, but I guess she got her course, which is business. She have merch on her channel. You know, so they're both making money. But I guess the main thing is, sustaining what you're making so you can have it for a long term you know so which would be the smart thing to do be love says she got investments like i said i'm new to um the two women so i don't know what peach has i don't know if she have investments i don't know if she have a house I don't know the type of car she drive. I don't know too much about her. But I'm just saying that us as a race of women of color, we should all stop trying to tear down each other and we should get along, you know? You know, so we can stop tearing down each other, help each other. And then, you know, because the new YouTubers look up to you guys, you know? So, um, 
I don't know, really. What you guys think? Do you think that it's um? Do you think that it matters if she went from millionaire to broke? Do you think it's something that needs to be talked about? Or, you know, or shouldn't have been talked about in that way? You know? Give me your thoughts on it. You know, like I said, um, they both seem to be talented in their own way. You know, and we can learn something from both of them. But I think we all, all us YouTube sisters need to try to stick together and uh, help uplift each other. Stop trying to tear each other down. Because in the long run, that's what it's all about. Being there, uplifting that sisterhood, you know? Because I have met some really cool women on YouTube. You know, they are really, like I said, they have been really helpful to me, you know? I can click on their channels for advice. They don't mind helping out. And I think that's a good thing, you know? All right. So, uh, we can move on to that road rage stuff that happened today. You know what? Isn't it funny when you be driving and you drive in your little car, you just driving on, then all of a sudden you see people that's next to you, you trying to get over, they trying to keep up with you, don't want to let you over. You know? They just ride right along. If you speed up, they speed up. And you slow down, they slow down. You seem like you trying to get over and they're like, they just won't let you over. What's up with that? You know? There's so much crazy stuff going on in the world. You know, you can't be playing with that people driving. Because nowadays, shoot, road rage serious, you know? So, um, yeah. I didn't have people do that. Mm-hmm. And then when you get over in front of them, they look like they get mad. When you zoom up and you jump in front of them, they look like they get mad, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or what about the people that be trying to uh, cut you off? You know? <laughs> or the people that be be driving, and like I said, they are either they be driving, you driving, they want to get over it. And then you be the person that do that. You be the person that keep keep up with them. And then you see the people want you to look at them so they can make a finger or do something. You know what I'm saying? But you never look. You just keep your head straight. <laughs> oh. hmm. uh, me and my niece, we laughed so hard today about that. I'm telling you, because when I was leaving, it seemed like the people didn't even want to let me over. But then one man went on and let me over because I was trying to, you know, get over to get into the turning lane so I can turn. But uh that's crazy, huh? Whew, that is so crazy. Mm-hmm. There's so much stuff going on. And if you hear some noise, that's Zoe over there with her little toy. It's usually past her bedtime, but I think since I'm sitting in here, she wanna try to uh I ain't going to look at her. As soon as I looked at her, she looked over here. I'm going to keep my head this way. You know, these dogs think they people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just popped on here. We wanted to uh, talk about the uh, YouTube streets and the YouTube sisters, how we all should get along, try to help one another, you know, stop tearing each other down. Uh, be that positive role model for what's new YouTubers, you know? Yeah, because there's a whole lot of content out there that we can talk about stuff besides trying to talk about each other, you know? But that's something, though. You know, people is like that, though. You know, you think people, I'm not saying those people are friends. They just YouTube sisters. But I'm just saying in general. 
you know, you have friends supposed to be your friends and stuff. Then all you find out later on, they've been talking about you behind your back. Daddy smiling in your face and stuff. You know, when do that stuff get old? It seems like no matter how old you are, that stuff always goes on. I don't have that many friends. Mm -mm. I never had a bunch of women friends anyway. I always had a lot of men friends. You know, so I didn't fool around with that many women because, you know, what they be, some of them do be jealous, you know. So, mm -mm. and as I got older, my little circle then got smaller and smaller, you know. But, yeah, that's all I just popped on here. Just talk about it. I want to know what you guys um, input, what you guys think about Be Love and Peach stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. This chocolate is so good. Y'all want a sip? My little marshmallows then all melted away. But you want some? Oh. Oh, I got some Cool Whip. We can put some Cool Whip in it. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna get the cool whip because Zoe don't think she should have some. There she over there now playing with that old toy. Mm hmm. I ain't gonna look at her. There she is. She is. Here she comes. She can't come because she's inside the little gate. She looking at me when we look at her. That's how people need to be driving. People be looking at you, be want you to look at them. See how she's looking at me when we what? That's how I be when you driving, you keeping your head straight. You don't look at over there. Mm -mm, I'm not going to look. As soon as you look, that person waiting on you to look. You just driving. <laughs> uh, how many people, how many times have you done that? You know? Mm, mm, mm. Well, anyway. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I got my little mic on tonight. Hopefully the people that said they can't hear me, they can hear me good. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Because I be getting that. I tell you that they can't hear me. So hopefully this little mic, the little light is on. You should be able to hear me. Anyway, I just popped on with this little nightly ramp with, uh, like I said, with the talk of the YouTube streets and a um, little life in general. Road rage, people driving. People driving like fools on the streets, you know? So that was my nightly chit chat. Let me see what else can we check back. Here is Zoe squeezing on that, that toy over there. So if you hear that, that's her. Um, oh, tomorrow is a holiday, Veterans Day. I wonder how many people love work. I know the schools is out. My grandkids don't go to school. I'm supposed to be getting up, go take my car to get my Oreo changed. But I think I'm going to wait because I ain't know tomorrow's holiday. Bitch, a lot of people going to be down there. Even though you have an appointment. <sighs> it's still going to be people down there. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I don't feel like waiting all that long time. So I'm going to change it because they got a good deal on the Nissan dealer. The Nissan uh, dealership got a $29 Oreo change and filter. Shoes, I can't beat that. You know, I always go to the dealer. So I had to jump on that. But they don't last long when they have it. That's why I just can't, I got it today and I was trying to rush to make an appointment for tomorrow. But I didn't realize that tomorrow... Friday, which is Veterans Day, which is a holiday. Mm hmm All right. Wishing all you vets, you know, that serve the country is your day tomorrow. Get everything that you can get. I know all these restaurants giving you all free meals and just giving you all kind of stuff. So take advantage of everything. Mm-hmm. I remember when my daughter worked in the restaurant. She said them vets would come in there and get all kind of stuff. Get the free meal. And then they didn't want to tip them. Hmm? You know? Do you think if you get a free meal, you should tip? What's your thoughts on that? 
What do you think about that? Or you think that you shouldn't, you should just get your meal, eat it, and go? Even though it was free, you didn't have to pay for nothing. So you think you shouldn't even give them a dollar, two dollars? Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe if you don't have it, if you don't have it, it's understandable. What happened if you have it? Should you give it or should you not? You know? Yeah, that's something to make you think about, huh? Hmm. All right, so let's see what else is there we talk about. Did I show you guys I bought a new hat? Oh, I showed you guys. I'm going a, I'm to a put it, I'm going to pair it with something. Did I show you? I'm going to pair it with something with those boots. You know them boots I showed you? This is a Vince Camuto hat. I can't wait to put it on. I don't know. I can't see if it's set up right. Is it set up right? I can't see. Let me go look in the mirror. Let me ooh, make sure my dress is down. I hope I didn't show y'all my butt. I'm going to wear this with those uh, cream boots. Remember my new boots? I showed you guys. Let me get them out the bag. Anybody talking to you, Zoe? I'm going to put on something with these boots and this hat. What do you guys think? You think it's a cute combination? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to try that on. I've got these other little Shoes. You know what? Zoe chewed on my other little shoes. I got these on clearance at um DSW too. These are so cute. I think they was twelve dollars. They was regular. They was twenty four dollars. They was marked down with thirty. Well, I don't know thirty percent. I don't know. Anyway, they was like twelve or thirteen dollars. It was regular twenty five dollars. I got the other ones. I like them. I get so many compliments on them. Zoe has chewed on them. So when I went, they had those on clearance. You better sit yourself down. Nobody talking to you. She's standing up on that gate over there. Remember I told y'all? I'm not, I'm not gonna stop looking over there. I'm just gonna look out the corner of my eye. She looking at me. Somebody worrying about her. But anyway, people. Hmm. I guess that's it. I hope I didn't show y'all that my butt when I stood up. I'm gonna have to play that camera back. I don't want y'all to be seeing my butt when I stood up. Oh, yeah. That's a nice hat. I'm going to wear it with something. I might get tilted to the side. Put it to the front. What you guys think? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. We'll get it together. I'm going to show you guys. When I do the neck little haul. My next little try on. I'm gonna try on something with those boots paired with this hat. And let's see what we're working with. Let's see what we can come up with. You know? Yep. All right. Well, it's been great. So it's getting late. And um, I want you guys to have a good night. It's my bedtime. It's time for me to cut this light off so Zoe ass can go to bed. She can start making that noise. Because, you know, as soon as I get out of here, she'll be making all kind of noise. And, um, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. These puppies, they showing up like babies. My niece told me when she moves, she's going to take her. I'm going to give her to her. Mm-hmm. Yep, they already got one dog. So, I think she needs somebody else to play with. Yeah. <sighs> all right, people. Well. I think that's it. We had a nice little conversation. We talked about the the talk, the talk of the YouTube streets. We talked about life with the road rage. We talked about should you tip or you shouldn't tip if you're getting a free meal. 
you know. Yeah, I guess that's it. Talked about the cheap Oreo change too. The Nissan dealer. That's synthetic too, because my car takes synthetic. The truck takes synthetic. Yeah, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <sighs> anyway, I'm in this video so I can get my rest. Oh, I'm going to come on here and show you guys to use this thing that my daughter got me. We're going to do a nighttime uh, routine. Yep. Yeah. You got it, Shua. You put the do it all down your neck like this. It helps with your circulation. Yeah. You do something with your eye here. And then you take this and run it across your eyebrow. You rub it here. And you take it and run it across. So, yeah, we're going to go through it. I'm going to show you guys how it goes. All right, people. Well, I think that's it. I'm going to end this video so I can upload it tonight. A little nightly chat. And, um, yeah, so like I said, leave me your comments in the, in, the, in the comments. Let me know what you think about the YouTube streets, the sisterhood, the road rage, the tipping. Hey, anything. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up. Thumbs up the video. And, uh, yeah, you know, like I said, the goal is to be monetized by 2024. So let's get it moving, people. All right. I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for your time, your support, and all that stuff. I couldn't do without you. Bye for now. Peace, love, and blessings. Ciao. Once again, family, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Thumbs up the video, share, and leave me a message. All right. Ciao.